There are a lot of people that despise dynasties. You mention the New England Patriots, they say, ugh. Mention the San Antonio Spurs, they say, boring. UConn women's basketball, they say, Can somebody please beat them? Microsoft, Apple, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Chevron. The list is even longer when we start thinking about business dynasties. But the truth is that we all want to build or be part of a great dynasty. And the first step to being one is studying others. How do some teams win year after year while others rise and fall like the tide? What do those consistently successful organizations do that others don't? What can we glean from the very best, whether we cheer for them or not? I'm Don Yeager, and I have been driven to answer those questions over my career as a writer at Sports Illustrated and as the author of more than two dozen books. Based on that study of the greatest teams of our generation, I've built an all-new keynote presentation that I know will inspire your team while sharing lessons from my unique vantage point alongside these great culture builders. I'd like to share a little of that speech here with you in the hope that I'll get the chance to be part of your team's pursuit of greatness soon. The longer you stand up, the more pressure I feel. It's good. <laughs> awesome. Thank you all very, very much. Create great winners. So we're going to start talking about the cultures of these great teams. We're going to talk about how, those, how that culture developed behaviors. We're going to talk about the behaviors that created the habits and the habits that created the winners. Do we really know our why? Do we really have a, a grip on that within our companies? Do, we, do our companies and the people that work for us, do they, do they know their why? Do they know why it is that what we do matters? Because I know that each of you are responsible for a team. Each of you has a team of people who look to you for guidance on how and why they should care so much about what you're asking them to do. When you talk about why are we doing this, what is it, you will, you'll get a greater appreciation for your culture, you're going to get a greater understanding of your personal passion, and we all know that you work harder for something about which you are passionate, right? We all work harder. We all are more invested in something that we believe has great purpose. The lights come up at the end of the video, and there isn't anybody in the room that A, doesn't have a tear in their eye, and B, isn't ready to get to work to try to continue to create that mission. At Make-A-Wish, we do it before every day of every board meeting. We focus on our why. Are you creating mission moments consistently within your team? Are you within your team not just talking about dollars and cents, because the truth is dollars and cents are nice, but why is generally bigger than that? Uh, you create mission moments. You create these moments where there are opportunities for you to share with the people that work with and for you what it is that you believe is the greater purpose. I look forward to the opportunity to talk soon about your team, what they can learn from the great teams I've studied, and how this speech can be part of that growth. Let's chase greatness together.